says vets have been ripped off by the government for the last 20 years. Now it's time to pay up. The Palmer United Party says it's time for the federal government to live up to the Anzac legend, not off it. Today um, we're launching the Palmer United uh, Party's uh, official policy on veterans affairs. The PUP is promising an extra $640 million over four years to vets. It would see fairer indexation of military pensions and superannuation. Rob Messenger says Australia's vets will be owed thousands in back pay entitlements. So the average veteran, and we're talking about 54,000 people here who are affected by it, are owed anywhere between $4,000 and $10,000 by the federal government. The LNP's candidate for Hinkler, Keith Pitt, agrees and says the coalition already has a plan in place to give veterans a better deal. The current indexation is, is clearly unfair. Uh, and the coalition's policy has been around for three years and was confirmed again by Tony Abbott only last week. Uh, and we'll index uh, DFRB and DFRDB uh, superannuation in accordance with uh, age pension increases. The Palmer Party is proposing to pay for its policy by cutting money from Australia's annual $5 billion foreign aid budget. Labor's candidate for Hinkler, Leanne Donaldson, told Win News today that cutting any foreign aid money is out of the question. She says Labor also plans to increase benefits for veterans if returned to government next.